guys, today I'm going to do the first of my Christmas gift guides on this channel. I've already done my luxury gift guide on my Diary of a Spendaholic channel, which I'll link below. So that's over £30 gifts. Today is going to be stocking fillers, so kind of under £10, not necessarily stocking fillers, but kind of inexpensive or cheaper gifts. And the next video will be, or maybe not the next video, we'll see, but the next gift guide will be uh, under £30. So kind of like a, I have three different categories for women this year. I'm also going to do a kids slash men gift guide because I don't have enough stuff for each category to do kind of an individual one. So if you're interested, that will be up later this week or early next week over on that other channel that I already mentioned. So let's just kick off and I have something on my knee that I have to talk about first of all because I had no idea how much this was and I just had to Google it. Um, and it's a perfume that was sent to me a couple of days ago and it was kind of a last minute addition because I thought that um, it was a really, really, I can't believe how cheap it is for what it is. It's a perfume. It's from Superdrug and it's called Flutter. As soon as my daughter saw this, she's nine, she was like, oh, can I have that? And I said, yes, once I've featured it in a video, you can have it. Um, because I knew that it was inexpensive, but I wasn't sure dead on price. And it's actually four pounds right now. So if you have kind of a friend or, it'd be really good for a secret Santa, although it's a little bit difficult to pick a fragrance for someone. Um, but you know, if you've got someone younger that you want to buy for, or someone that's in that kind of awkward age of not quite a child, not quite a grown up, they might appreciate this and it's really inexpensive. Four pounds. I think it's normally eight pounds, but they're usually, um, or they're currently half price. So wanted to mention that first of all before I forgot. Uh, the next thing I have beside me is this Aromatherapy Associates The Star. And I've spoken so much about Aromatherapy Associates in the past. Um, it's pretty expensive to buy a bottle of their bath oil, but it is so effective. If you feel that you are kind of sensitive to scents and things, you might not love it because it's very, very, very strong, but it's so effective for me. I mean, the deep sleep one um, is one of the only things that really just help me sleep, and I really struggle to drift off at night. Uh, this isn't one of the deep sleep ones, this is um, Inner Strength. So this is the star. It's designed to be kind of like um, a hung ornament, which I love the things that they do that. Um, so it's supposed to be kind of like an ornament, but it's basically a stocking filler and it is uh, £10. So if you wanted to sample Aromatherapy Associates but you didn't want to pay like £40 for a full bottle, I know you can get them on offer and they can be cheaper than that, but they're supposed to be around £39, I think. Um, for, a, for a relatively small bottle. It lasts you a long time, but the initial outlet is a little bit difficult. Um, but then this is a really great way of trying it, and if you already know that you love it and you want to give someone else the attempt, the attempt, the opportunity of trying it, then this is a really nice gift. I, I would love to receive this, and it's one of those things that it's a brand and it's a product that you really, you don't know that you're gonna love it until you've tried it. It's really difficult to kind of tell someone how great it is. They have to experience it for themselves because I did not believe anyone that said how amazing it was. I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And as soon as I tried it for myself, I was like, oh, I totally get it. So amazing, amazing. And they always do really cute little gifts like that. As I mentioned in my previous gift guide, if you're thinking of buying things like this for yourself, things that are specifically Christmas, remember they will be discounted in the sale. <laughs> if you're buying them for yourself, I would kind of hold off and hope that the things that I wanted were discounted. Unless you're buying kind of individual things like that perfume that's not going to be specifically a Christmas gift set. Um, January sales. Um, another thing that is a specific gift is this little Burt's Bees, a bit of Burt's Bees set. And it's got a little lip balm, and I think, is this a lip balm as well? Oh, it's a cuticle cream kind of want to open this right now. I am really suffering with my cuticles at the moment. I don't know what it is, but they are so dry and like peeling and horrible, which is not great. When you're a blogger, you want to take pictures of your nails <laughs> and when your skin around your nails looks a little bit, mm, it's not great. So I might try this. I've tried their hand cream and it's amazing. And their lip balms are some of my favorites. So again, a really nice little um, gift set of that. Let me just find out how much that was for you. 5.99. Again, really nice for like a secret Santa present. I personally, in case you were wondering, bought my secret Santa um, some kind of minis of things. So like mini shampoo and conditioner because she recently dyed her hair red and that's difficult to hold on to. So kind of colour conscious shampoo and conditioner, little face mask, little hair mask, forget what else. Just bits and pieces like that in a little bag. I thought that was cute. But if you have no idea, if you've got someone that you just don't know what they might like, a little mini gift set like that is really, really nice as well. Now I wanted to mention this, and this is from uh, Coco Style Studio. She's actually someone that I've mentioned before, um, and she has an Instagram, she has a blog as well, but she has uh, an Etsy shop where she sells prints of paintings that she's done. And this is one of them. Let me just take it out of the plastic because it's going to be glare and you're really not going to see the full effect. Um, and in fairness, this A4 print is actually not 
technically under £10, but I wanted to show you it because she does do different sizes. Um, and this is a print, hopefully that's showing up, of um, a painting that she did of the Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. And I thought this was really cute, and it was one of the things that I was, I kind of had my eye on for my friend Kaz, who's BNT vlogger here on YouTube, because she wore this as her wedding perfume, and I thought it would be such a nice gift for her um, to have kind of a print like this framed. So she randomly contacted me last week and asked whether or not I'd be interested in featuring something as a gift idea on my blog, and I was like, Yes! I was going to buy this from you! So, you know, she kind of did herself out of a sale there. Um, but it's beautiful. Really, really nice. The material, like the card, is really, really nice. And I wanted to tell you about it purely because I was actually going to buy it. I am going to put a blog post out on this as well, but beautiful. Um, and also, she sent me a little card, and this has got another one of her pictures on it. Her business card had a little Christian Louboutin shoe on it, which was amazing. But that's another one of her paintings that I'm probably going to frame for myself. But, uh, not gonna lie, Cass is gonna get that other thing as a Christmas present. Um, I think the A4 was around £15, but like I say, she does smaller sizes, so depending on your budget, you can pick something from there, and she does loads and loads of different uh, subjects, so check her out. All the things I've mentioned will be linked below. Uh, the next thing is very me. Those of you that watch my videos a lot, and uh, especially my other channel where I talk about kind of bags and things like that, I am a monogram freak. Anything that I can get with my initial on it, if preferably two initials, because my initials happen to be the same. Bizarrely, um, my initials are MM. Kaz's initials are CC. And Laura from Laura Loves Beauty, her initials are LL. Isn't that strange? And my mum's initials are JJ. I don't think it's a massively common occurrence for this to happen. And I know so many people, it's just strange. But anyway, I love monogramming. I love kind of things with your initial on. Um, and I got this from, um, what is it called? It escapes me. Oliver Bonas, 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 I don't know. The people that made the, um, <laughs> the people that made the makeup bag that I talked about a few months ago. I bought that when I was in King's Cross Station and I absolutely loved it. I was gonna mention it in this, but I do have another makeup bag in the next video, so I kind of swapped that out and just kept this one in as the initial thing from that particular store. But this is £10, and I think it looks more expensive than that. It's not particularly substantial to feel, but as a kind of thing to have on the side like this, I think it looks like it costs more than that. Um, but they suggest that not only can it be used as a decoration, but you could also hang jewellery from it. It's just a really, really cute gift, and I love that. Like I say, that was £10. Uh, something I really was excited about, I actually saw these a little while ago, and they completely escaped me when I was thinking of my gift guide. They went into Wilco's the other day to pick up some, oh, some sweets for the advent calendar. And I saw this and thought, oh, this would be so perfect. And it is, it's not very nicely presented right now because it's just all thrown in together. But it's a gift that you can put together and this whole thing cost me less than £10. So you pick everything in it. Everything, each item is £1.50, but it's three for two. And so in total, basically, if you pick nine items, they're gonna cost you £9. I hope that I'm not telling you that right because my maths is really appalling. Um, but basically I picked nine items and that's kind of how it came to be. So the bath was one of them. The bath is actually something I bought because I saw on Instagram someone had bought this bath and put their Lush bath bombs in it. I thought that was such a cool idea. So I wanted to go and get the bath and then I realised I may as well fill it up and show you the bits and pieces you could get. So I got this kind of shower puff thing that remains nameless because no one knows what it's called. Um, I got four bath bombs because the kids are now obsessed. And Lush bath bombs are pretty expensive if they're wanting one in every single bath they have every single day. So I bought some of these because they were a lot cheaper. And they just have uh, fragrances, so nothing particularly special. They're all white in kind of coloured packaging, but you know, it's cute for the kids. And these purple ones are passion fruit and melon. And the pink ones are rhubarb and vanilla. Ah, we have bath bombs. Um, also, the kids picked out these bath pearls. Can you remember these from the body shop when you were a kid? I used to love these. They're kind of like, they dissolve and they become, you can squirt them at each other and like sting each other's eyes. <laughs> I remember this so vividly as a child, um, but they kind of dissolve and become soap. They're like liquid soap in a bizarre, dissolvable, rubbery casing. Um, and then the other things that I got, there's there so many things. You can get hand cream, hand wash, shampoo, conditioner, loads of different things in like five or six different colors, which are all different flavors or scents. I just kind of chose a purpley, purpley, purpley pink colour scheme. Uh, and then I got a shower gel and a body scrub. And I just, I think they look so nice. I know that they're, 
not particularly expensive looking, but they don't look cheap and they are not expensive. So I think this is a really cool idea. Someone would definitely use this bath again. I'm gonna put it um, in my bathroom with bath bombs in it, like I say, but really, really cool idea. If you, even if you didn't wanna do it like this, you could get a few stocking fillers. So if you buy, say, for example, three bath bombs, that's gonna cost you three pounds because it's pretty cheap, so. Amazing, if you're looking for um, things to kind of pad out another present or just a present to create, it's a really, really cheap way of creating kind of a gift basket idea. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, I've lost my list. Like I say, that was under 10 pounds, everything in theory should be under 10 pounds. The next thing is this soap. Um, and this, it smells amazing. I don't want to open it because it's so nicely packaged. I kind of want to give it to someone, but I, I also kind of want to open it because it smells so nice. I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells really rich. It's supposed to be a Christmas pudding. It's, what does it smell of? It's like, it's fruity and sweet and just cr very, very Christmassy. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open it. Because I want to see what it actually looks like inside. Oh, I think that's just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, it's from the Soapsmiths, and it's pretty expensive. As far as I can see online, you can only get this from really select retailers, but one of them is Selfridges, so if you have one nearby, you can get them from them. I can't really find one online that you can buy this specific soap, but it's eight pounds. It's like, it's Christmas in a soap. It's so cute. Really, really cute. The kids are gonna love this. Um, but I think this again is, is one of those things that you could buy for someone that you don't know what to buy for. It's very festive, it's themed, everyone uses soap and yeah, I think it's just really, really cute. So that's £8. If you were looking for gifts that you could split up, so not unlike the things from Wilco's where you can kind of get individual things and, and bumper up other people's presents, well this is a really nice one and overall it is around £13.95. So it's slightly outside of my under £10 budget, but if you were splitting them up then you're talking that divided by three which some of you with better math skills than me can do like that. Um, it is Crackers, and they're from Latest in Beauty, which is kind of a, a beauty box subscription service. So they all come out like this. And in each cracker are various things. So I think one has like a nail polishy gift, one has another makeup gift, one has a skincare gift. I don't think that you know from just looking at it which one is which, which is kind of annoying. And it doesn't say on the bottom of the box, um, anything. It didn't kind of come with a card to tell me how to differentiate. So it would be difficult if you had bought them with different people in mind and thought, oh, I think this person will appreciate blah. But if you just had kind of three, oh, three like-minded beauty loving friends that would appreciate a cracker full of some kind of beauty products, I think these are really, really cute. Um, I'm probably going to take these with me when we do our uh, Christmas gift exchange, myself, Laura and Kaz next week, because I think it would be really nice to have with our dinner. It's like another little, it's like a Christmas cracker, like Christmas dinner. I think that's a really cute idea. So I'm probably gonna do that. But this, I mean, if you were gonna have um, kind of a girly Christmas dinner or a Christmas dinner that was kind of a little bit more intimate, you didn't have to buy them for everyone. Really nice idea to have around the table, but that might get expensive. If you've got a lot of family, um, maybe not. I think this is more, more of a nice idea as a stocking, stocking filler if you kind of uh, split them up or as a, a little gift. Like I say again, Secret Santa. Secret Santas are really difficult to buy for because you don't get to pick and so you might not know anything about that person. I was really lucky with mine this year. Um, like I say, that was around 13 95 the next one I have is Tree Full Moon Gift Set, and this is $6.99. Um, I don't know if you can get these anywhere but Tesco, but I know you can get them from Tesco. Um, and I love the Cinnamon Nights one, the Warm Cinnamon Nights, um, what is it called? Shower Gel. My all-time favourite smelling Christmas shower gel, and I've tried a lot of different ones, and I've kind of forgotten about it, and I saw it in a recent vlog, or didn't see it in a recent vlog. I was looking back over a different vlog, and I saw it and thought, I need to try that again. So I'm now using that. Uh, and they sent me this Christmas um, gift set as well. $6.99, really nice little stocking filler. And it's quite a big one as well. So it's something that if you're looking to kind of, especially if you've got kids, I would imagine this would be better for like teenagers. But it's one of those things when you've got kids and you've got that like pressure for in the morning they come downstairs and there needs to be a mountain of presents from Santa. And it's one of those things that would kind of bulk out that mountain of presents at a lesser cost. I know that even Ella at nine years old would appreciate this. Something, you know, it makes you feel a little bit older. A couple of years ago, she asked for a body shop gift set. A little, you know, she was about six at the time, but it's what she asked for because she thought, oh, it's, it's gonna be my own whatever. And I think this is kind of one of those things that could fall into that category. But I would like this. Treacle Moon is nice stuff and it's not expensive. But 
I like that they've put it in with that like shell puff as well. Um, the next thing is a really good deal at the moment because this was quite a big thing last year. Um, in honesty, it's not my kind of thing. I like glossy nails, so kind of textured nails and the special effect things aren't really my deal. Um, but these are the Velvet Nails from Ciate, and I think it was around £15, £14.99-ish um, this time last year, and they're actually on Fragrance Direct right now for £4.99. So again, stocking filler, Secret Santa, I know I've hammered that home, but £4.99, £5 often is the limit for Secret Santa, and if you bought them this, they'd be like, oh, you've gone over the limit, that's amazing. No, no, £4.99, Fragrance Direct. And the last thing, is it possible? Have we come to the end? We have. Is this, and it's so cute, it's super, super inexpensive, but I can't remember, 250. This is from Flamingo Gifts. Um, and this was 250, and I just thought this was so cute. They actually asked me to pick a few gifts um, to, to feature if I wanted to in this gift guide or obviously on my blog. And this was like, mm hmm, I want this for me. Uh, 42 coconut scented nail stickers. If you're into net like scented nail polish, You've got to be into coconut scented nail stickers. Scratch and sniff. So you put them on your nails and then you scratch them and then your nails smell nice. They did loads of different versions but I thought these were the cutest ones. Especially if you've got someone that's going to go on holiday like winter sun vacation or whatever. I'm going to save these for my holiday next year. I think these are so cute. So super stocking stuffer because that was like less than three pounds. So that's it for my stocking fillers gift guide. I hope you enjoyed it and now we have come to the secret giveaway portion of the video. I have one of these Christmas jumpers to give away from British Christmas jumpers um, and all you have to do is work the comment snowman into the comments below. Just work the word snowman into a comment and freak everyone else out and be like, what earth are they talking about? That's all you have to do to enter. I will leave all the terms and conditions in the information bar for you to read through because no one wants to listen to that, especially since you've got to the end of this super long video. Um, but I hope that you enter the competition. I hope that you've enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.